Hey, you look kind of lost over there. Can I help you? The witch? I could take you to her. I had a feeling you'd ask. Yep, we're just gonna walk right in. Ta da! It's me! <laughs> okay, what does a witch look like then? Black pointed hat? Some black cat walking around? <laughs> That's just a cliche. Oh, right, you needed help with something. Oh, that could be fixed in a bit. Let me just find you the right potion. Sir, you're drooling. Here, wipe it off. There. Now this, this is what we're after. Here, drink up. The whole bottle. Leave? Nonsense! Look, even if I wanted to chase you out of here this instant, it's good to make sure there's no side effects. It won't take that many minutes, so just relax. Sit down. Here. Let me go make you some tea. There. Blueberry tea. My favorite. It is good. See? I'm not so scary. Breathe. It's okay. Why I live out here? Well, you came here because the doctors in the kingdom couldn't offer any help, right? Right. The usual. Well, the potion you just drank is illegal. Technically, I'm out here as a hermit, just close enough to the wilderness that I'm just outside their jurisdiction. So I could serve you any potion of your desire and they couldn't lift a finger. Not that one you just got. It'll stop this fatigue you've been feeling. Anything else? Well, I'm close to the forest for one. That gives me a much shorter distance to the regents I need for my brewing. Apart from that, I like the freedom and peace out here. It's a worn-out cliché, but it does get lonely out here. <laughs> Not the only reason, of course. You're free to go soon. I just enjoy the company is all. Magic? I try to use it sparingly. Potions are much better for distilling and containing the effect you want. Ready to use when you want it. I... No, a small share, but most of it is just slightly helps me in other things. Nothing crazy. Aw, were you were you expecting me to turn the trees into living trees and raise skeletons out of my backyard or something? <laughs> Maybe we can do something. Care to get a reading? Free of charge, of course. I hoped you'd say that. <laughs> so, we're drawing three cards. They all have different symbolic meanings, and I'm going to explain them to you after they're drawn. I'll show them to you six at a time. You'll only see the card back, of course, and you point to the which one you want. Ready? Here we go! Pick one. Middle? Okay, pick again. Middle again? Interesting. And this time? Number two from the left. Interesting. I thought you'd stick with your middle.
So this gives us three cards. Let me explain them to you individually and then what they mean in combination. The first card is the mouse. It symbolizes pathfinding, innocence, and vulnerability. The second card, the well, is different. It symbolizes health, wellness, and restoration. The third call... <laughs> I mean card. The fall symbolizes regression, misfortune, and foolishness. I suppose you can see how this looks. Seem familiar? <laughs> I'm just kidding. The last card you didn't pick middle is the bird. It symbolizes freedom, overview, and sharpness of sight. What does this all mean? Well, it seems to describe you perfectly, doesn't it? The only question is what the bird means. What is it you will come to learn after having found your path here? Like a mouse and drink from the well to cure your illness. Any ideas? I suppose maybe your mind will just loosen up and become clearer. Or maybe you'll learn some things you didn't know about witches. Either way, only time will tell. And please don't let the tea get cold. Is it possible to play again? Good question. Time is... a curious thing. This fate exist? Is there one or many timelines? If you went back in time, would you inevitably end up doing what you did last time? Oh? You don't think the cards tell any fortune? I suppose we'll find out some windy day. Why windy? Oh, nothing. I suppose any day would work. Maybe if the bird is correct, you'd never need my help again. Or perhaps, as you say, you'll need to play again until you get there. I'm speaking in riddles? Well, I sure am acting the part now, aren't I? You look like you're freshening up already. And any adverse effects to the potion should have kicked in by now. What's that? You're drooling again? It's nothing? Well, I have my suspicions about why, but if it doesn't bother you, I'll let it be. Leaving already? But sir, it's still windy outside. Weirded you out, huh? That's okay. I'll see you in a bit. I definitely weirded him out. Hey, you look kind of lost again. 
Can I help you? Again? You were just leaving? No, I'm pretty sure you were. Your drooling stopped. Most interesting. Please, come with me. Let's see if we can fix this. Weren't you here for a potion? I'm the witch! It's me! Yeah, yeah! Fatigue, fatigue, I'll sort it out. You actually don't feel fatigued anymore? Then why did you come here? Yes, why? You can't remember? And you came all this way? A shame, really, but maybe you can stay here until it settles down outside. Here, let me bring you some tea. Any preferences? Blueberry, huh? Interesting. I, I, I just had the last cup before you came here. How about mint? Not sure? I think it'll be better for you. Enjoy. I think it'll wake you up. Oh, the cards? Eh, just some silly stuff. I don't know if any of it's even real. Or maybe it is. I'll just have to look more closely, I suppose. Here, drink this. You look... different. Never mind. How are you feeling, sir? The fatigue, it's gone, remember? And you're not drooling. Stop being silly. Take a breather. Give it some time to sink in. Now do you remember? Good. And one last thing. Care to play again? Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.